Matt, this is fascinating. Williams says the Fed will have to phase out policy forward guidance, but we've been relying on forward guidance now for how long? Uh, quite a while, yes. Yeah. So our colleague Gina Smilek had an exclusive interview with John Williams yesterday. It's on the terminal this morning. Um, and basically what he's talking about is this line in the FOMC statement that says monetary policy remains accommodative in order to sustain a return to 2% inflation. And so this is, this is kind of a, a key question because what that's signaling is they think that neutral interest rate where you know maybe the end point is going to be um, is still a ways off. And so that's why they say it's still accommodative. Now there's been a little bit of conversation at the Fed um, as shown in the minutes of the March FOMC meeting that maybe as we're getting closer to that neutral interest rate it might be time to remove that language from the statement. So that's what John Williams is talking about here. And indeed with this even last 24 hours in the market we've already seen another substantial move towards where the Federal Reserve is. He says he's not worried about the yield curve about it inverting but of course he's not going to ignore it. I suppose that's, uh, that's, that's less of a, a flashy headline. Yeah, there's been a fair amount of hand-wringing about the yield curve, the flattening yield curve, the possibility of a potential yield curve inversion uh, on the horizon by, you know, a lot of uh, Fed presidents. I think John Williams is taking a little bit more sanguine approach and just saying, look, the reason the yield curve is flattening is because we're raising rates. This is kind of the plan. Um, and the really interesting thing about this is um, there are kind of different views because for a long time, obviously, Wall Street has, has used that inverted yield curve as a signal of a recession because in the past, the yield curve tends to invert before recessions. But John Williams is saying, well, you know, we might actually have to uh, think about raising rates higher than that neutral rate um, if we need to slow down the economy in a year or two. And so that kind of implies a yield curve inversion, more of an intentional thing. And so I think there are split views on the FOMC about how careful do we need to be about this. And John Williams is kind of saying, well, it depends on the context. We'll see what the situation is when we get there.